the next one is lower right triangle if we have a look here we have five rows so first loop is for rows so for r equals one to five next we need to see for the columns now starting point of column is not same for first row it is starting from one the second row it is starting from two third row it is starting from three that means starting point is always equal to the row number and always uh, the ending point is five so for column equals row number two five next cells row comma column dot value equals now we need to see something for the values we can see the logic here we can draw a table row column and value so in first row we have five values one 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 and one in column one two three four and five the values are one two three four and five in second row we have four values in column one uh, two three four and five the values are one two three and four in third row the values are one two and three and then in fourth row the values are one and two now we need to find the relation at all the places where we see one as a value we see one relation that for all the ones row and columns are equal for all the twos wherever we find two uh, here the sum is three here the sum is five here the sum is nine here the sum is seven if we try to see the difference between two numbers so it is one here it is one here it is one here and one here so wherever uh, we see the difference is 1 the value is 2 wherever we see difference is 0 value is 1 and wherever we see difference as 2 the value is 3 so the formula is very simple we can say that value is nothing but the difference between column uh, and row c minus r always uh, not r minus c because uh, here in this case you can say uh, c that uh, at places where uh, we have column values greater than row numbers so c minus r plus 1 so 0 minus 1 minus 1 is 0 plus 1 is 1 value is 1 in this case 2 minus 1 is uh, 1 plus 1 is 2 so this logic will work we can say c minus r plus 1 let's clear everything and let's run this so it prints the series so in the next tutorial we will be uh, doing the same things using other loop do while do until and we'll uh, see that we can generate same sequence using other syntaxes also thank you for watching this tutorial